all are the features present in male skull as compared to female skull except many times they ask about the sex differentiation between male and female skull now let me discuss on that difference between male and female skull see always male skull are uh, always uh, heavy okay remember that it is always larger and heavier whereas female it is smaller and lighter so to you know the male skull is bigger right Female skull, it is about 1450 to 1550cc capacity, whereas female it is 1300 to 1350cc. Now coming to the sloping at the forehead. Male, it is sloping, whereas female, it is somewhat vertical. And look at this picture. See, in males, it is somewhat sloping. Like always, it is not 100%, okay? I am talking about all the features. Whereas females, it is somewhat straight. Now, all the prominences like glabella, supraorbital ridges, zygoma, mastered process, occipital protuberance, occipital condyle, muscular attachment, everything is more pronounced in case of male, whereas in case of female, it is less pronounced. I will show you a picture. Look here. Glabella is prominent in males, less prominent in females. Look here. Supraorbital ridges, more prominent in males, less prominent in females. Psychoma, prominent in males, less prominent in females. Master process, see, longer and wider. In case, that means it is more prominent in males, less prominent in females. See the other picture. It is longer and wider in case of males. Muscular markings are well pronounced or well marked in case of males, whereas females it is not well marked. Now, frontonasal angulation is quite distinct in case of males, whereas not well distinct in case of females. That is because when glabella is prominent, the angle becomes quite distinct as you see in the picture. Whereas in females, it is not so distinct because glabella is not prominent in case of females. And look here in the picture. Okay, clearly you can see. Now, Frontal and parietal eminence. This is very, very, very important point where I told you all the promise are more prominent in case of male, but in case of female, frontal and parietal eminence are more prominent than male. This is most important point you have to remember. Look here. Okay, females it is more prominent. Orbital opening is somewhat rectangular in case of males, somewhat circular or rounded in case of females. See here. Now, you know how exactly to differentiate. And finally, you can see the full chart here. Whatever I have given in red color is very, very important. Okay. Now, all the features present in male skull as compared to female skull except larger teeth. Yes, larger for a man. Yes, 